Good morning, all. Now, I've built this circuit right here, and this is a lot of fun. This would be a good education for all of us. This is a relay that I'm using to turn on this 120 volt, 100 watt light bulb. Now, the light bulb is just an indication to us that the relay is energized. This relay is set up to self-latch. When I push the latch button, or we could call it a start button if you wanted to, the green button, when closed, will route this current from the 24 volt DC power supply, that's an external power supply, through the close button, through the coil, and back to that external power supply's ground creating a magnetic field in this coil that will pull the contacts closed. Now watch this. This is amazing. I hope I don't knock the clipboard off onto the ground. But when this is latched, when this, when this contact is closed, current now flows from the 24 volt DC power supply through the normally closed unlatch or stop button through the closed contact and into the coil back to the external power supply ground. And with that contact closed, current will hold that magnetic field, keeping the relay energized. And I can release this button because this contact has taken the place of the latch button. So, now that relay stays energized. When I want to de-energize, I push the unlatch or the stop if you want to call it a stop button. And that breaks the circuit. And current no longer flows through this contact into that relay coil and de-energizes and opens those contacts. Now, the light bulb, when you push the latch button, current flows through here, energizes the contacts. This one maintains current flow through the coil and this contact closes, completing the circuit through the light bulb and illuminating that light bulb. Now let's watch the circuit in action. Isn't that fascinating? <laughs> but there's the trick. That contact maintains the magnetic field I'm going to put this block of wood in front of the light bulb so we don't blind the camera. Here's our latch button. The relay is energized and self-latched on. The red button disconnects the 24 volt power supply from the relay coil and it unlatches. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Self-latching relay. Let me take the screws off the cover and you can see what's inside. All right, let's go inside. But first, let's get ourselves unplugged from the power supply. We don't want to get shocked, so we've unplugged from the 120 source, 24 volts DC, power supply is turned off. You'd be amazed at how simple, how simple this looks inside. The hardest part about this circuit 
was drilling the holes in the kit box for the two switches and the terminal board wiring. Almost there. Almost there. One more screw. There we go. Now, if you can, you go make you one of these. Can you see in there? There's the relay. There's the two switches. There's the diode across the coil of the relay for spike suppression. And here's the wires from the common, normally open and normally closed of the relay up to the terminal board. Here's the plus 24 and ground that routes the external power supply out to the switches and into the coil. Oh. If you can, go out there and make you one of those. <laughs> you have a lot of fun playing with that. People, what are you going to do with that box? This is going to be my drive enables. This will be my start. This will be my stop. And the contact. will start and stop a servo drive or an inverter school cage induction motor drive it's fascinating Whatever you needed to start and stop or turn on and turn off, you could use this little circuit right here. There we go. Let's power everything back up. Nice. <laughs> I like making little circuits like that. It's a lot of fun. If you can get into electronics, don't hesitate. It's a good career field to get into. All right, all. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Hope you're enjoying your time with your families. We're done for today. Let's head to the hooch. <laughs>